Hey guys, Spencer here with Spencer's Clash. Um, this is uh, a new channel I'm starting just to help you guys with uh, Clash of Clans, give you some tips. Okay, so first of all, I want to start off by um, talking about Town Hall. So when I first got this game, all my friends had it, and uh, they were like level 8 Town Halls, so they'd had it for a while, and um, so I... I had a hundred dollars iTunes gift card and I upgraded my town hall to level nine just quickly without upgrading any of my defenses and it was probably the dumbest decision you can make in this game. There was no level ten, ten town hall. I bet if there was I probably would have upgraded it all the way to level ten town hall. Okay, so um the reason it's stupid is because of the loot deduction. Um I was so bad at the game and such a high town hall level, um my troops were terrible. And I just couldn't, I could hardly beat a level 3 or 2 town hall. And the loot deduction is crazy, so I was having so much trouble earning money and elixir. It was so hard to get better at the game. So you guys really should be upgrading your base fully um, before, um, before moving, before changing. I mean, before going to the next uh, level. I'm just going to show you one of my friends. Um, sorry about this. Okay. Um, his name's ArrowJS. Okay, so he does have, um, so he started the game after me, and I made sure, he's one of my friends, I made sure he didn't do the same mistake I did. So he just turned level 9 Town Hall, he was fully upgraded, everything for level 8 Town Hall, his walls are all, were all level 8, these few walls that aren't were because um, when you change to the next Town Hall, you usually get some more walls. Um, you can see he has he's very good at the game, and that's because he made the correct decision. He's always had easy times, easy, it was always easier for, for him to earn money, and yeah. So, this was basically, this is what I wish I could have done, is basically been there for me when I was about to pay the $100. Okay, let's go back to my base. Um, so, next thing I'm going to talk about is trophies. Um, you guys really should not be worrying about trophies, because trophies... Um, your only matter, trophies do one, uh, one thing, uh, two things. One, if you want to be have 4,000 or whatever trophies, you can be top 200 or 3,500, whatever the number is now. Um, but it's extremely hard to get out there, and it's so much work. And you do have to have an, basically a fully maxed up base to be up there. And most people who are up there definitely have paid and paid tons of money. And you guys really should not be wearing on trophies. When you do get higher in trophies, you do get more of loot for a reward. But, um... It's definitely not worth it because you people fight you and they're much better who f the people who fight you and you fight much harder people so it's much harder to win and it's much harder to find an easy raid like I do. Okay, next thing is training um, composition. You can see my army consists of. Uh, well, I guess you can because I didn't train troops. Um, my army is usually 84 archers, 84 go goblins. Um, I use eight uh, giants and eight wall breakers. Basically, a very cheap um, army composition works pretty well. Um, I do. I always have tons of elixir. You can see this is level three. That costs three million elixir, and I've already upgraded. I just upgraded. I already have one point nine million elixir. I always keep spells here though because I'm always. I always have tons of elixir. So you know, I decided why why not why 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 not keep some spells here and in case I do need them and I actually have been using them recently. So, if you look here, that first one is a battle I usually do do. Um, but here, I did have a pretty bad battle here, because I only got 38,000 elixir. But like I said, I don't care that much about elixir. Also, pretty bad one right here. But I did have quite an amazing one here. I was very, very proud of it. Um, 424, that's 900k total um, loot in this. And... Yeah, so definitely a great raid, and I'm going to show you that in one Okay, second. so this is the raid. Um, so basically, I'm going to start off by getting these mines right here. Definitely, this is what I would usually do, is get these mines. Okay, um, so I did notice that some of their loot is in the storages, but if you see, I already have tons of loot from three collectors, so I really don't need to go for the storages, but, um... Well, we'll see. Um, okay, so I break through here, use my wall breakers. I'm gonna get this gold right here. Definitely important. Um, just getting these collectors. 
Okay, so you'll see. I'm gonna break through this wall. Just finish that collector. Now on these collectors. So, yeah. So really the only collectors I've left are those two and then the one in the bottom left screen. Okay. Um, so I continue to put some... Continuing to put some down. I put the archers down. Didn't really do much. I put little bits of goblins here. I didn't. I don't know. I kept putting little bits. Didn't put enough to really get that uh, storage. Um, but you know, it it, it got it was alright. Okay, so right here, I am hoping to get basically that collector, the storages, and e the gold storages, even some of those elixir storages from attacking from the bottom left. I do only have 17%, so I decided to get this uh, town hall. I wanted to kill their Barb King. Okay, so now with my marvelous Barb King, I um, attacked, I got the collector. Yes, that's what I wanted. The town hall dies, is destroyed. I break through this wall. Um, I get that one collector right here, as you'll see. So I get that collector. Destroying this. This is what I wanted. Got all of that. I'm gonna break through this wall with my Barb King. I dropped a Rage in here spell. Okay, so I didn't mean to throw this next heal spell down, but it didn't end up being that bad. Um, my Archer Queen does go, however, go over there, which I was pretty mad about. They who will die? I mean, she will die. She won't get the Dark Elixir. Uh, Jill's either she'll get like two shots at it till the cannon kills her. So right here the Barb King does go around, and I wasn't very happy about the Barb King going around because I wanted him to get those into those collectors. Really wasn't that bad though, because uh, these archers came along, started taking a couple shots at the storage, so I did get some uh, extra elixir there. Um, so yeah, I got the um, wizard tower there, the Barb King takes us out, I get tons of uh, uh, loot. And it is pretty successful battle. I'm gonna finish off with 500. Very successful. Very happy with it. And yeah, so definitely a great, great battle. Okay, so uh, one last thing I do want to talk about is basically what I do when I fight. You did just see a very nice battle, but um, what I do like to do is um. I go for gold mines and elixir pumps and uh, elixir collectors, and I go for all the um, gold, like those uh, small buildings. I don't usually go for storages because if I find a 200k raid, I find it's very easy to get goblins. And then I do go for the one star. I'll put, I'll destroy that town hall. Or, sorry about the glitching. I'll destroy a town hall, or I'll get 50% by getting the outside. Um, by getting the outside. Uh, buildings. Just we're using my archers. Maybe use my giants. Maybe sometimes I'll use my um heroes. So yep, yeah, that's basically it. Let's see. Now my troops are ready. They weren't ready before. I did. That's basically my army. Sometimes I don't know. I usually do 82 archers, 82 goblins, but I don't know. Probably just clicked it wrong. Um, you have if you guys have any um things you would like me to do like different army kind of troops i have um done like all different sorts of battles you want me to do like all dragons and rage spells i did um a 100 and like 30 all wall breakers battle same my clan castle wall breakers um yeah so yeah this is a those are, that's really what i like you guys to do just tell me what you guys want um <clears throat> wouldn't suggest joining this clan just joined it because I haven't really found a clan that I'm that much interested in if you guys do have a clan however that um, you would like me to join I do like to donate troops but these guys already said they don't want to donate me troops like I requested a dragon they're like we can't give you one I was like not even level one they're like nope so I was like I don't understand why they said that but I do like to donate um, so if you guys have a clan uh, comment uh, like and subscribe. I'll donate you guys. I have all level 5 troops. My dragons are level 3. Upgrading my laboratory. Gonna get my archers to level 6. My giants to level 6. My barbs to level 6. So yeah, definitely um, comment, like, subscribe. And tell me what you guys want.